Well, you mentioned BAPS. Uh, we just lost one of the stars, yeah. uh, Natalie uh, DeSalle Reed. Mm -hmm. 53. 53, man. Whoosh. We just lost uh, um, Ecstasy from Houdini. Ecstasy from Houdini. Uh, Friends. Still a classic song to me and you day. should be singing that song. I right? know, right? 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 How many of us have them? <laughs> black? Exactly. Ones you can't depend on. I know. Before we go any further, <laughs> the hell, 2020 shit. Yeah, man, that really tested that song out. Um, you know, and then you have Tiny Lister. Yeah. I was and, with Tiny last year. Like, so I took Tiny to Global Cardio Care. I was in the airport when we were, my daughter and I were flying to uh, uh, MJJ Con, uh, and Tiny's legs, he had on these black pants, and it looked like he was wearing tights, and it was just like, his edema was terrible. And I, I automatically uh, sit with him and his manager, I said, you got to get to this machine. Shaq bought the machine and put it in his house. It's very important for big people to be on this machine. Um, but it's electromagnetic pulsing machine, but Tiny goes in. I got Martin Lawrence on it, man. Martin Lawrence is like, everything is putting him back in the system. And Tiny gets on it, lose like nine pounds that day, just of water weight. Oh, okay. And a lot of people, that's, that's, that's the holdup. Like I said, your body swells. Um, I don't know what the total thing is uh, he passed from, but you know, I've been friends with Tiny for a very long time. And the fact that he was working at getting, trying to get uh, his heart and his and his body in, uh, in, in working condition, um, I miss Tiny. He's a good dude. Well, he died from COVID, is what they say. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's what they say. And he was talking about he was looking forward to taking the vaccine. Yeah. Yep. That was like his last interview. Uh, I had never met him. I was around him once. Uh, but I think Ice Cube said it best. America's favorite bully. Yeah, man. Uh, I mean, and he played it up. I was with He a, played it up. Uh, so back when I first wanted to do comedy, man, this is 87, and I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go to comedy. I go to see Robin Harris. I think I tell the story. I got on a pink outfit. All right, pink shirt. Linen pants go with it, and I walk in, and Robin Harris said, "Look at that tall bottle of Pepto Bismol." <laughs> Glad I got up. I had rented a Rolls Royce too. I walk outside in the Merck Park. I get in my Rolls Royce. I drive back to Central City. I throw that outfit in the garbage. <laughs> I probably just paid four hundred dollars. I throw it in the garbage. I put on my jeans. I go back. And when I get back, Tiny Lister is sitting up front, and and Robin Harris is having a time with Tiny, and Tiny stands up, and he's saying something. And he was like, "Somebody put something in Tiny's mouth. My zipper's busted." And I hit the floor, and Tiny started going to stage, and Robin Harris <laughs> was like, and Tiny was mad, mad. At first, I thought he was joking, but he was mad, mad because he did not like being joked at that point, but he figured it. And he did so, you know, he he took this character everywhere. And but he's the nicest, he was the coolest dude in the world. But he took the character where he needed to take it, which was cool. His best character was in Fifth Element, though. He got the show, he can act. Well, he was what, the president of the universe, the I think. Yeah. Well, it's actually kind of funny. Let me see if I can pull this up real quick. You talk about how Robin Harris made you throw away an outfit. Yeah. Phase on Love had a similar story with Robin Harris. My first uh, all black crowd was with me and Robin Harris. Um, he came down to host, just for people who know who Robin was. Um, this comedy, I think it was Bees, Bees, some, some, some little rinky dink place held about maybe 40, 50 people. And I had some red shoes on, some red boots. Um, and he talked about my boots so damn bad when I got on stage. <laughs> I went downstairs and took the boots off and threw them in the trash. <laughs> I was like, man, don't ever let me buy no goddamn red boots. Uh, it's a true statement, man. Robert, hey man, I thought I was gonna be sharp too. Real men wear pink, I ain't afraid. 
It was buttoned down. It went all the way to here. Robin Mo Harris will make you throw your own clothes away. Guaranteed. Multiple situations now. I didn't even know he that about He will make fun him. of you so badly that you will throw away your own outfit. And you know, <laughs> uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, um, Keenan Ivan Wayne said, you know, the deal with black folks is that we, we really don't laugh at ourselves too well. Uh, you know, that you, back in the day, a knife would come out if you're joking with somebody too much and get cut up. Man, Robin Harris was, and let me tell you, all I saw was every girl in the place looking at me laughing. It wasn't, but that's all I felt and saw. I felt my seven foot body getting smaller and smaller. And then all I thought of is Pepto-Bismol. If I wear pink right now, I would just think, I look like I'm a big bottle of Pepto-Bismol. He has traumatized me. <laughs> Robin you, you haven't worn pink since. I have. Uh, if I do, I got a pink sweatshirt. I think I wore it twice. I just, <laughs> it just, you know, I got my golf sweatshirt from Tyler, the creator. I just think I wore it twice. I love the powder pink, but man, Robin Harris traumatized me.